These are the memory banks. The main part of the city back in those days was down here on the south side. Everything quite close to Lake Michigan. There might be great value in going back in time, I suppose, if, if we could correct our mistakes. No. That's the one thing you can't do. You can't change history. After Henderson lived up here on the north side, Nice, quiet, rural area back then. That's where we'll be arriving. First thing we'll see. Just tell me one thing. Has anybody ever done this before? Have they? Of course. Four of us have gone back already. A lot farther than Chicago. There's nothing to it. Jeff, I, uh, think it's time we tell him the whole story. Only three of those men came back alive. What happened to the fourth? He came back 20 minutes late. He was decomposed. With an arrowhead embedded in his back. Thirty thousand years old. Don't ask me how or why, because I don't even know yet. So we're really just guinea pigs. No. We're all just human beings, and all we have to face the future with is the experience of our past. Unfortunately, there are only remnants left of our history. Our knowledge. Wouldn't you like to find some of that lost knowledge? We go through here. Hey, Dallas. Hmm? Safe journey. Four days. We'll have four days there. That should be plenty of time. October the 4th. If we lose four days, that epidemic, well, we could be in the past a whole month and it wouldn't take away any time for the present. How could it? Gentlemen, we are 10 seconds from the start of countdown. Already, sir. Dr. Earnshaw? Yes, I'm still here. He'll be fine, sir. Let's go. This is it, a nice, quiet, rural area on the north side. <laughs> Where are we, downtown what? New York, Cleveland, 